next topic is lagrange's mean value theorem or first mean value theorem so this topic is from mean value theorems so the proof of the lagrange's mean value theorem is the statement first the statement is given as if f maps from closed ray b to r is a function such that f is continuous on closed ray comma b f is derivable on open a comma b then there exists a point c belongs to open a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a or otherwise if b minus a is sent to other side then this will be f of b minus f of a is equal to f dash of c into b minus a so this is the statement of the lagrange's mean value theorem so here it is given that it is a function from closed ray comma b to r such that f is continuous on closed ray comma b is given f is derivable on open ray comma b is also given then so after then we have to show that there exists a point c belongs to open a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a so this is so simple so here is the proof so we have to define a function phi maps from closed ray a comma b to r such that phi of x is equal to f of x plus k x for every k belongs to r is given by phi of a is equal to phi of b first of all it is given that phi of a is equal to phi of b now i'll substitute phi of a is equal to here phi of b so what is phi of a here so phi of a is nothing but so in place of x we have to keep a here so if i keep a what happens here so if i keep a here in this equation then this will be f of a plus k a is equal to in this function if i keep b here then this is f of b plus k b see here k a is equal to this is k b so minus k b if i send to other side this is minus is equal to this is f of b minus f of a so if i take k common here this will be a minus b is equal to f of b minus f of a so if i take minus common from this so this will be b minus a is equal to f of b minus f of a then the step will be minus k value will be f of b minus f of a by this is b minus a so this value we have to remember so here what is the function here the function is nothing but f of x plus kx so x is an algebraic function so this is continuous on closed ray comma b and k is a constant so k into x is also continuous so f of x is already continuous so the addition addition of two functions is again continuous so algebraic function is derivable so k constant if we multiply uh, then this is also derivable and it was given that f of x is derivable if the sum of the two functions is again derivable therefore phi of x is derivable so phi of x is continuous on closed ray comma b it's derivable on open ray comma b and phi of a equal to phi of b then we can apply the rolls theorem so according to the rolls theorem there exists c belongs to open ray comma b such that phi dash of c is equal to 0 so that is the thing which i am going to write so k is a real number here so k is a constant so we know that x is continuous so we know that x is continuous so which implies that which implies that kx is continuous so kx see here the k into x is continuous on r so continuous on r and the next one implies and f of x is also continuous so f of x is continuous it was given in the first statement that f is continuous on closed ray comma b on closed ray comma b here so here if you observe that f of x is continuous kx is continuous the addition is also continuous f of x plus phi of x is uh, continuous on closed ray comma b for instance so what is phi of x plus kx which is nothing but phi of x is continuous on closed a comma b the same here algebraic function so k is a constant 
and x is derivable here so here x is derivable every algebraic function is derivable on open e comma b and if we multiply with a constant then kx is also derivable so this is derivable on open a comma b and we know that f of x from the second statement it is given that f of x is derivable on this is open a comma b so if i add these two then f of x plus kx is derivable on open a comma b so f of x plus kx is nothing but see here f of x plus kx is nothing but phi of x so phi of x is derivable is derivable on open a comma b see here phi of x is continuous on closed a b phi of x is um, here derivable on open a comma b and it was also given that so here we have taken that phi of a equal to phi of b so phi of a is equal to phi of b so this is uh, the first equation this is the second equation this is the third equation according to these three equations so we have a rolls theorem here so what the rolls theorem statement if a function is such that f is continuous on closed a b f is derivable on open a b and f of a equal to f of b and according to the rolls theorem statement there exists a constant c belongs to open a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to 0 so if we apply the rolls theorem here so phi of x is continuous it is derivable and phi of a is equal to phi of b and according to our rolls theorem so according to rolls theorem there exists a constant c belongs to open a comma b such that according to the statement phi dash of c is equal to 0 as we know that what is uh, phi of x so phi of x is nothing but f of x plus kx so phi of x is equal to f of x plus kx so if i make a derivative so this will be f dash of x for k it is one constant so we know that phi dash of c value is equal to f dash of c plus k and we know that um, f dash of c since according to the rules theorem we have f dash of c value is equal to 0 since f dash of c is equal to 0 i am equating to 0 substituting as 0 so f dash of c plus k and we know that f dash of c will be equal to minus k and we have the value of minus k here as f of b minus f of a by b minus a if i substitute the value here then f dash of b is equal to f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a so this is so simple so which is nothing but which is nothing but lagrange's mean value theorem so this is nothing but the lagrange's mean value theorem so let me explain you once again so the theorem statement states that so f maps from closed a b to r is a function f is continuous on closed a b f is derivable on open a b then there exists a point c belongs to a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a or this one f of b minus f of a is equal to f dash of c by b minus a first of all i have defined the function phi of x is equal to f of x plus kx and also taken that phi of a equal to phi of b so after taking phi of a equal to phi of b if i keep phi of a here then this will be f of a plus ka and this will be f of a plus ka and this will be f of b plus kb so if i send k to one side so ka minus kb is equal to f of b minus f of a then minus k value is like this f of b minus f of a by b minus a so we know that x is an algebraic function which is continuous on close to b it's a constant also continuous if you multiply it's a constant function and we know that f is a continuous so the addition is also continuous therefore phi of x is continuous similarly x is an algebraic function which is derivable on open a b it's a constant if you multiply also it is derivable and it was given that f of x is derivable the addition is also derivable and in, in total f phi of x is 
derivable of local AB and it was given that phi of A equal to phi of B and according to our uh, uh, Rolle's theorem statement so if the three if the three points holds if it is continuous derivable and f phi of A equal to phi of B then there exist C belongs to open A comma B such that f dash of C is equal to 0 here we have to consider that there exists and uh, C belongs to open A, A comma B such that phi dash of C is equal to 0. What is phi of x? Phi of x is nothing but f of x plus kx. If we make a derivative, it will be f dash of x plus k. Here for x it is 1. For x the derivative is 1. So from this if I take the value, so if I substitute phi dash of uh, C is equal to 0, then f dash of C is equal to minus k. As we have minus k value as f of b minus f of a by b minus a. So, in place of minus k, if I substitute from 1, so, so this is some a. So, from a, so we got the value of phi dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. So, this is what it is asked to show that according to the Lagrange's mean value theorem. So, hence Lagrange's mean value theorem or the first mean value theorem. Hope you all guys understand. If you really like, you know what to do, please practice. And uh, before you leave, you know what to do, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.